Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Satellite Rain. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today. And this drone is freaking out. Look at him. What what's wrong with him? I think it's colliding with me or something. No, no, he's just having his own ecstasy party right there. Okay. So as I said at the end of last episode, I have a plan for this bank job. This is gonna be the first mission I'm gonna do in this uh, in this area because I want the ATMs for myself. There we go, that thing is now ready, I'm just gonna... I don't trust exiting the uh, the cloak while being seen, I really don't. So what I'm gonna do is that, what I just did, and oh, there's another There's another th place in here, that's bad news. This, this, this has security, of course it does, of course it does. So you go ahead and uh, uncloak, you go ahead and cloak again, you're gonna do that. Uh, that's gonna be... oh, I, yeah, they saw me. They saw me cloak or something. I don't know what happened right there. So let's open that. Let's bring you over. Not immediately. Let's just wait. Go into cloak. There we go. You go ahead and uh, don't run. The v, v cloak. Okay, it's gonna be a little, a little bit tricky. I think maybe not though. I I mean I have my objective is right there. I just need. I kind of wanted to hide. What are what are you doing, man? Go ahead and, and do your thing. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to uh, hack these uh, ADMs myself. Let's do that. Try to do that anyway. That's gonna give us a boatload of money. A boatload of money. There we go. Wasn't that much though, was it? Hitting this place sure put the fun in slush funds. <laughs> yeah, nice work. Okay, so I want to see. There we go. So we got ADMs all over the place, but only one in here. That I can see anyway. So is this episode gonna be no? Go into cloak. No, 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 no. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave. Let's just leave a lot. Leave a lot. Yeah. There we go. So go ahead and uh, rest if you can, because I think you can. Okay. Maybe you can't. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Okay. Well, let's get moving. Yeah. 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 Moving. There we go. Weapons not ready. That's perfect. Keep running. Yeah. So that was that was my bank robbery. Gone a little bit wrong. That dog is still on me. Let's deal with that. Oh. oh what, what's that? Why is there... What is that on the ground? What happened? I don't know. What is going on? Why do I have... Oh, I have something on me. Did I have something on me? What the hell was that? I don't know what that was. Hmm. Anyway. Let's keep moving. Uh, whatever it was, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So this episode, uh, shall we do that? Because I haven't do that on camera. Shall we go on and hack some some uh, ADMs? Let's do that. So let's bring the wall team. No, no, kill that. Kill that. I didn't think that would be uh, the situation. So let's bring the wall team over to here. Except for this guy. You and you come back. Everyone's gonna be selected. So that's our first ADM. Oh, that's a. No, that's a relay beacon. Okay. Let's bring these guys over here. They should be fine, though. Yeah, I've I, I've done this relay beacon before. And, uh... Why are these... Oh, you're infiltrating. Of course you're infiltrating. Of course you are. I forgot, I forgot where you were. And, uh, there we go. No, 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 don't shoot them. Why are you shooting them? They didn't do anything to you, man. They were just sightseeing. God damn you. God damn you, overzealous, overzealous dude. Okay, so there's the guy over there that I don't want to be there. That's an anti-riot soldier. He's gonna move though. That's gonna be the big problem right now. Let's try and hide. I mean, only... Eh, nope. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so everyone is ready to rumble. And I'm gonna start by... Let's see. So I have the relay beacons. Why is he not active? I, I apparently didn't activate it. So I need to go there. Let's go there. Yeah, this episode is gonna be all about this. We're gonna be basically look at the city, look at how pretty the lights and neons are. They are kind of similar to what we've seen before, but maybe maybe there's gonna be interesting stuff to look at. And it's always a challenge. It uh, always turns out to be uh, uh, th there. There always turns out to be a few challenge along challenges along the way because some some ADMs are protected, others are not. Others have patrols going around, and it's always fun. It is a part of the game that I haven't showcased, as I said, so I'm gonna do it today. Yep, that's what I am gonna do. So if you're not interested in that, well, tough luck. <laughs> well, I, I hope you are. At least my commentary is gonna be 
a little bit of entertaining, maybe, hopefully, somehow, perhaps, at one, at, at first? I don't know. I don't know. I tend to, I tend to, uh, how, how, how do you put it? Uh, I tend to, I, I don't know how, how, what the word is, but, you know, lose track of what I'm supposed to be saying. But, uh, yeah, maybe I could, I could share my thoughts on the game so far. Well, I can only honestly say that when I first started playing Satellite Rain, I was very exciting every every time I got to, uh, I got to play the game um, and and record it because I mean I I love the other games that I have on my channel right now I really do every single one of them I play them because I I, I like them and uh, or at least I like the idea of them if I haven't played them before but um, I mean for example Pillars of Eternity as, as which I'm playing right now is has been has, has been a blast and uh, and so has Shadowrun and I mean. I couldn't be happier with the games that I'm playing right now, but Satellite Rain, if I am honest with you guys and with myself as well, uh, has been the one that I have loved the most. Of the ones that I'm playing right now, Satellite Rain has been the one that I get most excited and I have the f most fun with uh, as I record. I don't know why, I don't know why, I mean, it's a simple game, it is a game that doesn't really... I mean, it's not challenging in terms of story or choices or all that, but it's just fun to play and I love it. I love this game so much and uh, I'm having a, a blast. Uh, mechanics, I mean, gameplay-wise, it could be tougher, it could be tougher, but then again, it is a real-time game and a real-time, I mean, it's uh, it plays on at real-time. If it were turn-based, which wouldn't be at all what it should be, because this is a, a successor to a game and to a franchise that uh, really should not be turn-based. Because I mean, I'm I'm totally against, um, I mean, tr that travesty that it that it is to turn turn-based series into real-time games or real-time series, and the opposite as well. I really don't think this game would work. In any level in turn base, but it would be a different game. Being a different game, it would really need to be a little bit more complex. That's what I'm trying to uh, convey: is that the game could be a little bit more complex, but it is complex enough. It is complex enough, and I, I mean, it's it certainly pr prevents me from um, just uh, <laughs> face rolling through this place, uh, through the through the missions. But uh, I mean, the, my only. Surprise, it's not really a complaint, it's just a surprise, is that some missions are very, very, are made very, very easy. There's a ping over here, what's that? Oh, it's a relay beacon, of course it is. Um, yeah, some missions are made very, very easy, as we just saw, by having a single character go in there, do the job, and not bringing every single one of our teammates. I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe the, I don't know, it's just, some, some missions are just naturally easier. And of course, some some um, augments and all that. The cloak, for example, makes things very very easy. Where whereas at the beginning of the game, they were not. And you really need to, you really needed to uh, stop and think about what you were gonna do. Uh, but then again, I mean, the game. It, it, I I like that progress. I mean, I like that progression. The the feeling that you're getting getting. I mean, stronger and stronger at what you're doing. That is something that I very much enjoy, and is one of the very, I mean, uh, probably the biggest reason I, I love RPG so much is that you get to evolve your character. I mean, it's not to say that it's an obligatory feature to an R for an RPG. There are RPGs where you don't level up, and I'm totally fine with that. Uh, I mean, if they're a good game or if they're a good RPG, that's. Ooh, is that an advert for Zorro, the movie? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, sorry, didn't mean you to hack that. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's I like how the game makes you feel more powerful, and I also like how it makes you feel very, very, very weak every once in a while. Every uh, because it just it's, it's some missions are just tough, and you, if you I mean if you're a pro at this game, I guess you're gonna just have a very easy time in most of it. I don't think. Let me check actually. Let me check my system options. Am I playing on hard or whatever? This doesn't have a no. It doesn't have a. Uh, at least not right now. I don't. Th Did I? Does it have a difficulty setting? I don't remember it having one. Really don't. Huh. Well, oh, the, uh, oh, that's right. I th I don't think it does. I uh, I still haven't played. I mean, I still haven't played a campaign on the uh, higher or increased damage mode, which I would like to do, and I probably will on my own time after I finish 
with this campaign because I think some battles do drag along, do drag on for a little bit too long, uh, and I mean, it's all fine. It is really, really all fine. But um, I mean, I think they would be improved, in my opinion, anyway. They would be improved. Uh, there's what's that? A relay beginning there? What is that ping? Oh, it's over there. Oh, there's a relay beacon over there. Let's go there. Um, and uh, yeah, I feel I feel that uh, if uh, you could get killed faster, and if you could kill faster, more importantly. That would improve at least the strategy side of things and uh, make the game more enjoyable. Uh, so I, I do recommend that you try out that mode if you have the game, and you and I really do recommend that you get the game for yourself uh, if you don't have the means for right now. It's I don't I don't know the price right now, but it's, I think above twenty euros, twenty dollars. But it should should go on on uh, on uh, sale. I mean it. It's uh, you can you can buy the game on Steam, so it's gotta be it's gotta go on sale every once in a while. It's just how Steam works, and uh, that's a very very good <laughs> very good aspect of Steam. It's I think the thing that got me started on 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 Steam so many years back. I I don't know. I still I, at that time when I registered my my Steam account, uh, I I was still on uh, guys. I, I was getting on college at the time. I don't remember, but I I know I do know that I. I don't know. I don't know how, how how much time has passed since then, but Steam has grown to be such a huge part of my gaming life, and I mean of many people's gaming lives. And uh, yeah, I just you know, Valve has just done wonders. If I'm honest, if I'm honest, at least my opinion. Anyway, of course they can be criticized for a lot of things. I none of them come to my mind right now. But well, oh, I know one thing that Valve can be criticized of. Not releasing Half-Life 3. Come on, Valve. What the hell are you doing? They, they probably, they probably won't be able to release it now because it's been just so long. And they, unless unless they just redefine what it is to be to, to play an, an FPS. They just, I mean, I am a fan myself of FPSs, but uh, I mean, I don't play most of them because most of them are just drivel. But whatever. I mean, if you're you're a fan of gameplay, that's fine. I mean, I'm all for a good. A, for good gameplay and a, a in a crappy game, which I don't care, but uh, I don't really find that more than more than an RPG, the modern modern uh, FPS is really good at gameplay wise. There are a few that are good, but I mean, just I don't know, too much health regen, too much gimmickies and all that. It's just not not my kind of not my kind of thing. Um, but yeah, back to Satellite Rain. I said at the beginning, I said already that, that there's a thing about the game that. People complain about the most in reviews and all that. It's not really a complaint. It's a, uh, I mean, an, an observation. Is that the um, the plot can be sidelined a little bit, but now that I have seen most of the plot, I understand where where the developers are coming from with the decision that they took to make the uh, make the um, the briefings and all that kind of just easy to ignore because you're just following pings every once in a while and just. That's how the game plays. That's totally how the game plays. So I understand where they are coming from because the plot really isn't that involved. I mean, it could be. It really, definitely could be. It could. I, I don't know. It could be like a uh, Deus Ex plot of. I mean, that the, the fits the setting, or, or it could be. I don't know. A Shadowrun plot or whatever. That's just full with. In, I mean, deception all and all that, and just dialogues and all that. But since the game doesn't feature dialogues, it is not surprising that they didn't include like a mandatory little briefing window that you had to, I don't know, choose the dialogue, what you could say, and all that. It's not really about that. It's not it's a game about that. It's a strategy game. So the plot kind of takes a uh, second stage, as as it were. I'm not really, I'm not really sure that's the word, but that's the word that comes to mind right now. So let's go there this time. We'll take this uh, relay beacon and let's keep moving. So yeah, in that regard, I understand what it, where they're coming from, and I, in that, with that in mind, I don't agree with the criticism that the game kind of sidelines the story. I mean, it is a valid fact. It is a fact that game. I mean, that game ignores the story a little bit, but it's not to the detriment of the game. If anything, it is. It is a good decision. It was a good decision by the developers because. I mean, the plot isn't really... I mean, the, it's well-written enough for what it is, but it's just not... You know, you know what I'm saying? It's just not, eh, whatever. I mean, sure. 
I mean, no, there's no disrespect for who wrote, and I, um, I, having having written a uh, game plot, my, a couple of game plots actually myself, not not anything that has been published, mind you, but uh, I know what it is to write, and I know how hard it is to come up with stuff that, first off. Uh, it needs to be understandable. It, it, the the player needs to understand the plot. You can't you can't write. It's like writing a song. Writing a song is very easy. Uh, if you haven't written a poem or whatever, whatever, it's very easy. Uh, at least in my experience. I mean, there are those who say that I have a talent for it, but sure, I won't deny that I feel it is. Whereas perhaps other people might not. And I'm not talking about the quality of the song itself. I'm talking about. Uh, what the song actually is. So basically, when you're writing a song, there we go, level up as well. That's fantastic. Um, so when you're when you're writing a song, the big draw to a song. Why? Oh, there's a relay beacon right there. The big draw is the meaning of the the lyrics, right? So basically, you're gonna write about love, and uh, people are gonna find that lyrics touching if they can connect. So, in my opinion, anyway, if you leave the, the song to be, if let the song be very vague, and just uh, don't go into specifics too much, that's gonna allow a lot of people to just connect with it, because they're gonna draw conclusion, not conclusion, but they're gonna, gonna draw meaning from a lot of things that you put up, that put you in, put you in a song. If you say, like, for example, I mean, don't let your heart be driven by a leaf blowing on the wind, for example, I, I mean, just making up stuff right now. Uh, people are like, oh, that's deep. That's not deep. It's not deep. It's just allegorical at most. At mo and it's not even that. I mean, if you connect that with something else, I mean, people are just gonna pick up on uh, details on the music and just gonna love it. Or not, depending. I mean, <laughs> you can be a good songwriter or you can be a bad songwriter. And I'm not saying that it's easy to be a good one. I'm saying that it is easy to be one at all. But being a game writer, that is a completely different aspect. A completely different story. Because you're gonna be... There we go, so that's all. I got an achievement, Master of Coin and Easy Money for the CBD. So apparently I am Master Varys. <laughs> the ma no, that's not... I am Master... What's the name? Uh, Little Finger, that's right, from Game of Thrones or A Song of Ice and Fire. Um, but yeah, uh, if, you're need to, if you're writing a story for a game, you need to make it believable, sure. Yeah, we have as wide a coverage as we need here now. Good work, team. Thank you. So you need you need to be uh, make a believable story, but you need one. And this is my point. I know I rambled on for a bit. I warned you that I would ramble on for a bit. But the point is, it needs to be you need to be able to follow it without going like, what the fuck just happened now? Oh, sorry. I I didn't mean to didn't mean to swear, but yeah, that's that's the thing. So I respect. I very much respect the the work done by the writers. I very much do. And if they are listening. Good job on them. It has been. It's, I, I have. I have had fun. And that's what matters. I have had fun reading all this, and I'll read yet another one. This is the global headquarters of Dracogenics, the central nervous system of Stephen Dangler's empire. Our exploits in the city have raised some eyebrows, so they'll, they'll be expecting company. Even getting to the front door with, will be tough. So make sure you're geared up before diving into our final assault. So where am I right now? Why is this? Is this the final assault? I don't want that. Let's go with that. This one. Jack Rabbit's helped us out plenty, but he's got to ask a favor. He's got a leak in his crew, and he'd rather outsiders handle it so he can worry about keeping the rest of his crew together. Find some surveillance footage that shows the trader's data sale. Find out who leak or who the leak is and waste them. So that is simple enough. That is perfect. Let's get on with this. Okay, so we're gonna go into Metacortex prison. Prison? We're going into prison? No. Come on, I have had such bad experience. Look at that. We got a turret over there. Fortunately, we have, we have stealth. So let's see if there's more missions over here. There's this one. Let's see this mission info. Warden Patrick Cool didn't get this job for being logistically minded and an eye... Um, what? And an eye to detail. He specifically requested a transfer because he just likes the job. Be careful. The command doubles as a secondary armor... Arm armory because on top of this sadism is paranoid make sure an infiltrator takes a good look around if in the warden's office let's activate that being as well there's another is that no that's not a mission this one is though death row neil brybrook braybrook is a fantastic researcher worth any two or three of the ag ads we've got working in r d right now is also one don't let them read that is also one on death row for murdering his wife the execs called 
they want him. Go give him, uh, go give him our recruitment pitch before his sentence is carried out. So that's another mission right there, and we got three missions to accomplish. Accomplish over here in prison. Is this? Is this connected? It is. Apparently, we have four. Do I? Do we? Metacortex isn't nice, but Leclerc's downright mean. The Leclerc or Isolation Asylum is just about uh, is just what it sounds like. A long-term secure facility filled to the brim with the criminally insane, which in this case means anyone Metacortex doesn't feel like handling. Prisoners Dracogenix doesn't kill because they might be useful someday, and just enough actually insane people to keep up the license. Word is there's an assassin in here. Well, more than one really, but we're after this one in particular. <laughs> Who our bosses want free. Break him out, make sure he gets out in one piece, and we'll get a bonus. So that's one of the little, many, many little details in the text that I do enjoy. From time to time, the writers will slip in a little bit of a fun little tidbit, and uh, I do enjoy those. But just, uh, just generally, the wall writing is more about getting down to business than anything else, and I respect that very much. So let's get ourselves down to business as well, shall we? Because this is gonna be a tough one. And this is gonna be a tough one, I am sure of that. I don't know why I'm doing this voice right now, I'm changing my voice right now. Let's go. I don't know, I just, don't mind me, don't mind me. <laughs> I don't know, I'm crazy, sometimes I'm crazy. No, it's, I, I take that back. I'm crazy, period. Sometimes that shows. And with that, I am gonna check this place out. This actually doesn't look that bad. Let's go in there. Can I just come back through here? I can, I definitely can. So there's a camera that's not gonna see us, hopefully. Let's go in there. Weapons at the ready, people. And uh, through back here, we got... Okay, so this is a good way to get in there. We're gonna be able to avoid this turret over there. That's gonna be perfect. And yeah, this is good. It's looking good. It looks like we are on for a uh, good mission. If I keep my head cool, if I just look at stuff and don't miss anything obvious or anything at all, that'd be preferable. So let's go in here and do this thing then. Uh, let's do this thing. This is actually not going to be quite as easy as I thought it, were. it was going to be. Actually, wait, are these prison cells? They're all open. Are they unused prison cells maybe? Yeah, let's go in there. So they're not here anymore, that's fantastic. I will disable this generator, will I though? I think I will, maybe, maybe, we'll see. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving and hide back there. Okay, we got a automatic door, we got a turret over there. This takes us somewhere, where does it take us? Let's go there instead, how about that? Okay, let's be on the lookout for this camera, I'm not sure if it's gonna see us, let's run. I kinda don't wanna use... Yeah, they saw us. They saw us, okay. It should be fine though, I think. I, I, I was gonna say that I kinda don't wanna use my cloak because it's more fun this way, but I should have. I should have used my cloak, I admit it. But they don't, they don't know I'm here, so it's totally fine. They don't know I'm here, let's see. Alerted the authorities, let's wait for that to go away. We're gonna be trespassing and weapons out always, but... Uh, it alerted the authorities bit is really what worries me the most right now. So that takes me down there. Huh. Ooh, landing zone. Fancy. Why would I want to go down there? Okay, that, oh, that's a reason why I want to go down there. Hmm, I could go down there. Okay, the alert, I still have that. I kind of want to take my, I uh, kind of want to go there. Uh, okay. Okay, so we're good. We're good for right now, so I need to go here. Is that my ping? That is my ping, my first objective, or at least the objective that turned out to be the first. I'm gonna need, uh, there's no security cameras, that's a good thing. There's that guy and there's this little guy. So let's take the uh, hacker and do this thing. Well, there's a camera over here. Okay, I didn't see that one. It's quite well hidden, if I'm honest. Uh, let's see if I have uh, the charge required for both of them. I think I do but it might be a close call let's hope that it isn't though let's hope that it isn't i don't think it will be oh i mean it will be a close call but i think it will be enough that's what really matters let's send our infiltrator in there it is gonna have enough time to get whatever we're going to get in here i never i never check i never check that's also another thing it's just all all you need to do your actual objectives are really just getting into somewhere and uh, or just killing somebody or uh, 
And that doesn't really help on the, uh, on the plotline front. And it's all for the good, I mean, it's all for the good. Uh, so that is that, I have a uh, prototype that I would very much like to get back to safety, but that's not more what we're here for. What we're here for is to... there's a jammer over here. By the way, I keep, I keep this guy with the uh, firewall thing that's gonna allow him to... Uh, or that probably has allowed him to hijack uh, enemies at will, even, even if he's actually actively being jammed. So let's just go through here, that camera is not gonna see me. Uh, over here, there's no camera, so let's keep going. They didn't see me, that was fantastic. Very well played so far, even if uh, there was that little bit of a hiccup. But apart from that, it's been... I mean, I... Okay, this... What, what did that do? I'm being jammed right now, that was that sound that you hear, you heard. So that is... There's a camera back here, is there? I think there is not. So, what is that? That's the jammer, by the way. Okay. Let's not worry about that, because that doesn't really matter. So let's bring... Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. These guys... Okay, that ca is that kind of gonna, camera gonna see me? It is not. Okay, this is a safe place. But even still, let's bring you over there and bring you over here. Disable... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, they're coming. Let's forget about the cameras for now. Forget about the cameras. Yeah, that guy That guy is gonna be a little bit of a problem. If he comes this way, though, I, I will hijack him. If he, if he comes this way, he doesn't. Nope, it doesn't. That's a little bit unfortunate. Let's disable the cloaks. Let's keep moving. So, am I gonna be able to move and not be detected by the ki the by anybody? Not just this, by anything. Okay, can I? Oh, there we go. I think we might be able to. No, that guy needs to turn away. That guy. No, boy. There, there. Yeah. Okay, they saw me. I think they saw me. No. They didn't see me, so where do I need to go then? There's oh this is a what? Cell block A. Oh there's multiple cell blocks then. That's pretty cool. So I need to go there first. Hmm. Should be easy enough. Where does where does this take me? This takes me somewhere. I don't know where though. Oh up here. Oh, that's perfect. Let's go there. And with that I'm gonna cut the episode right here. Nah, actually I'm gonna take it a little bit farther. A little bit more, let's just deal with that for right now. Let's not leave on a cliffhanger. Maybe we will leave on a cliffhanger because I'm probably gonna get myself into trouble by doing this. Eh, maybe not, let's see. Yeah, 100%. Oh boy. That is not what I wanted. No, we're, we might die. Okay, so bad stuff is happening. Let's activate this. Yeah, it's all good. It is all good. Oh boy. I, di I didn't see that. Okay, so... I don't know why I did that then. Why did I do that? It made no sense. I'm just a dumbass sometimes. Just a what? These guys? No, 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 no! Stop! Stop! What the hell is going on with you guys? Seriously? Stop! Yeah, there's something wrong with the pathfinding right now. So uh, I think it might have something to do with the altitude right now. Okay, they are not behaving properly, that's for sure. There we go, okay. So I think we're good for right now. Uh, and health-wise, we're also good. Let's equip our weapon. Let's disable this thing. And that is gonna... I don't know why I brought everyone, though. That's That was a waste. That was a total waste, but maybe not. We'll see how it goes. Oh, so that didn't make sense in the first place. Okay, so I shouldn't have done this. I should not have done this. Even still, I will bring my infiltrator cloaked in down there. I'm gonna get uh, wounded, I think. There we go. Maybe, maybe it's gonna survive though. Okay, so let's try and do it like this. Uh, it's a bad idea. It's a really bad idea, but I'm gonna try and do it nonetheless. So he got hurt. He is getting hurt right now. So, back, th back there, I am gonna risk disabling the cloak. And hopefully, he's gonna be alright. I don't know if uh, my heal is gonna heal him. I don't think it does. Let's see. Hello! Oh, he's being healed. That's fantastic. That is so good. You don't even know. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna bring him back here. And I'm gonna cut the episode then. How about that? How about that? So, going to cloak. Run. You're not back to full health, but... He didn't actually run, for that matter. 
And th that was a very close call right there. Somebody leveled up. I think it was him. I'm pretty sure it was him. And with that, I'm gonna cut the episode. So, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been, as usual, Satellite Rain. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this... Uh, through the beginning of the episode, at the very least. Because the second one kind of got a little bit more interesting. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!